when you visit Caneland, you get to see all of the ins and outs of the distilling process, as well as what goes into their drink selection. The rums, I mean, we start from the sugarcane juice, molasses, or the, a run refined sugar, or a combination or blend of any of those, and um, bring it over from Alma Sugar Mill across the river. And then uh, we, we dilute that with, uh, with water here in-house uh, to proper fermentation to the right sugar levels. And then we add yeast to that. Um, and then we add the yeast and the, the yeast start gobbling up the sugar and the byproducts of that are a little bit of CO2 gases and alcohol. We get that at about roughly 8% on an average. And then uh, we put it in the stills and uh, heat that up and take that away from the water that's in the solution. Johnny is our distiller. What I've noticed about his style for distilling and all of the products, although they have their each individual character style, each individual recipe, and, and their own fingerprint, what I noticed with all of his is they're very clean. Um, they finish super clean on the front end. They've got a lot of uh, nose, they have a lot of okay, they have a lot going on, but then they just they, they, they run off the back of your mouth and finish nicely, which is what allows them to blend better. He, he gets along well with everyone and so do his spirits. I love all kinds of alcoholic beverages, blends, cocktails, and even some beers. But there was one in particular that I had never heard of called shrubs. Well, I'll go into a little bit about why we're doing some shrubs here and the, and the uniqueness of our tasting room. Uh, we're limited as a tasting room to only selling the alcohol that we actually distill. Uh, so that limits us to our product. Um, we're allowed to sell all kinds of mixers and fruit juice and any other things, but we can't sell some of the common mixers you get in cocktails, like the mood. Uh, we can't use that. We can't use a triple sec. Uh, Grand Marnier, some of these common things. So we're looking for other ways to make some creative cocktails. And we've got a fairly robust cocktail menu that's going to change seasonally uh, based on the fruit that's available, the herbs that are available. Shrubs are syrups that are made with vinegar. Um, they've been around for a long time. The vinegar is designed to help in the same way that alcohol does to clean whatever you're drinking so the bacteria doesn't get to you. Um, we're going to be making shrubs that are savory, shrubs that are sweet, shrubs that are with seasonal sauces. Sometimes they'll go with a whiskey or a vodka. In this case, we made a, uh, a rum shrub. I've got a ginger mint shrub syrup that I whipped up the other day. It makes a nice refreshing drink on a warm sunny day. And we'll use our parade spice rum because it mixes well with that. This one is a, um, a mint and ginger shrub. You take vinegar, and it depends on what you're making, whether you use a white distilled vinegar or an apple vinegar, different ones, different mixes. Um, you cook it up with sugar and whatever kind of botanical that you want to use. Cook that down until it thickens, and then that'll be stable for a couple weeks. Um, and you can then use that in, uh, as, a, as a sauce with club soda uh, and whatever kind of spirit you want to add to it. So that's just one of the things we're going to do here. There we go, on the truck. As well as you know, coffee drinks, uh, other macerations, infusions, uh, and, and, and daiquiris and your old classic cocktail, whiskey and coke, uh, Cuba Libres, uh, Moscow Mules. Um, we're an equal opportunity uh, purveyor of cocktails here at Caneland. An equal purveyor of cocktails and even some daiquiris with rum and lime juice, true to their Cuban roots, plus other fresh ingredients. We're just open, um, and we're like getting started making recipes and stuff. And right now, I'm just kind of cleaning up the mint to make a brew to put in the mint daiquiri. That way, it's real mint flavor. It's not that artificial stuff. And you know, we're just kind of keeping it all natural, keeping it good. It's quite refreshing. I didn't come up with it, but I, I definitely threw in the brew, the brew of the mint. It's kind of like a mint tea, if you will. So, I mean, it was a big hit whenever our opening day, we sold out. Like, all our backups that we made, we sold out. So, I'm just going to continue doing that. Click here to see more of our exclusive with Caneland Distilling Company.